If you're a gun owner in Wyoming, you know that the upcoming August 18 primary is of critical importance in our fight for Second Amendment freedom. You know, with all the Antifa rioting, these Black Lives Matter rioters who are burning down businesses, looting mom and pop stores all across the country, shooting at cops and causing mayhem across the country, including here in Wyoming, our gun rights are more important now than they ever have been. And that's why with the upcoming August 18 primary rapidly approaching, we're getting a lot of questions from gun owners who are wanting to know who are the pro-gun candidates in these various races. Today's video is about Senate District Number 6, SD6. This is going to be portions of Laramie County and a sliver of Goshen County in the extreme uh, southeast corner of Wyoming, just prior to the limits of Cheyenne. And this race is special to gun owners in the state because this race features the, 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 the most strenuous supporter of gun rights you could possibly hope for here in Wyoming, uh, Senator Anthony Bouchard versus Aaron Johnson. Now, if you know anything about gun politics or politics in Wyoming, you know that insiders hate Senator Bouchard, liberals hate Senator Bouchard, moderates hate Senator Bouchard, and a bunch of spindly little lobbyists, they hate Senator Bouchard because he always fights for what he cares about. And when it comes to the Second Amendment, he's no exception. In fact, before becoming elected to the state Senate in 2016, Senator Bouchard, he was just Anthony Bouchard. And as, and as an activist, he ran this very organization, Wyoming Gun Owners. And in his time as an activist, he did much to fight for gun rights. But as a state senator, it was Anthony Bouchard who led the charge to successfully pass Stand Your Ground Law here in Wyoming in 2018. Senator Bouchard helped me draft this bill from inception all the way through four or five revisions. He testified in committee as the chief sponsor of the bill and he helped whip up votes for co-sponsors and floor action throughout that 2018 session. If it had not been for Senator Bouchard, we would not have passed Stand Your Ground Law in Wyoming in 2018. It's just that simple. All the moderates who were there before him never even tried. Senator Bouchard tried and got it done in 2018. The Stand Your Ground Law bill that we passed, that WIGO passed, was one of the biggest expansions of gun rights freedom in the state ever. Because for the first time, you actually have the law on your side if you use your firearm in a defensive situation. Prior to that, an anti-gun prosecutor could simply say, you know what, I don't like this guy, and I don't care that he was attacked, and he was defending his family, I don't care, I'm gonna prosecute him anyway. And folks, it happened right here in Wyoming. That can't happen anymore thanks to Stand Your Ground Law. And again, that bill was sponsored and the charge was led in the Senate chamber by Senator Anthony Bouchard. Since that time, Senator Bouchard has been the lead sponsor for gun-free zone repeal. As you probably know, Wyoming has a real problem with gun-free zones on college campuses like UW and all their satellite locations, as well as government buildings. Of course, there are no government buildings. These are all taxpayer funded buildings that we pay for, that we purchase, that our tax dollars maintain. But in most of these government buildings in Wyoming, we can't carry here. And we all know what happens in gun free zones, right? They're attacked by madmen trying to rack up a body count. We're trying to fix that. And Senator Bouchard has been the lead sponsor on this bill, both gun free zone repeal and the problem we have with preemption reform our preemption law. As you guys probably know, there's been a lot of uh, issues in the news over the last year or so about UW and their willful violation of Wyoming law that, that, that denies them the ability to pass their own gun control. This has been a hot topic in Wyoming for the last couple of years now, and Senator Bouchard has been the lead sponsor on legislation to clean up and strengthen Wyoming's preemption laws. He's also surveyed 100% pro-gun with WIGO this year. And what that means is that he's put his views on paper. He signed the dotted line, put his name down there so that you as a gun owner can hold him accountable if he ever betrays you. And what that means is that Senator Bouchard is opposed 
to red flag gun seizures on record. He's on the record opposing any attempt to register guns in Wyoming. He's opposed to any attempt to ban or register our AR-15s. He's opposed to any attempt to ban or register our 30 round magazines. He's opposed to any attempt to raise the age limit on when you can buy firearms. I mean, from top to bottom, front to back, Anthony Bouchard is a gun rights champion for gun owners here in Wyoming. And that is why so many moderates hate him. And that's why these moderates are backing Aaron Johnson. Aaron Johnson, what we know about Aaron Johnson, besides that she's got a really nasty glare about her, besides that, we know she's a failed lobbyist. She's been a lobbyist in Cheyenne for quite some time. Never a good thing when lobbyists try to become politicians. Not good. Failed lobbyist. She used to work in the governor's administration, Governor Gordon. Now there's a lot of scuttlebutt in the Capitol if she was fired, if she was asked to leave in lieu of uh, being fired, if she voluntarily resigned in lieu of termination, frankly, I don't know. And so we're not gonna give you guys a hard and fast on that, but there's definitely a lot of troubling allegations out there about her status as a former employee with state government. And she's a self-described country club gal, country club moderate, as we say, who has refused to sign, refused to sign the 2020 Wyoming Gun Owners Candidate Questionnaire. And what that means then for you and I as gun owners is that we've no idea where Aaron Johnson stands on red flags. No idea. We've no idea where she stands on banning AR-15s. We have no idea where she stands on gun registration here in Wyoming. We have no idea where she stands on weakening stand your ground law, which is something that's actively being discussed right now in the interim summer committees. We have no idea where she stands on Fix Nicks, which is the bill being pushed by Republican moderates like Mike Von Flatter and others. So on all of the issues of the day, on all of them, Aaron Johnson refuses to tell gun owners where she stands. And I can tell you, having fought for gun rights in state capitals for 12 years in different states, that any time a candidate refuses to sign a candidate survey, especially during a primary when they need your help the most, it's a very dangerous sign that that candidate may be intending to go and vote against your gun rights once they're safely in office and no longer need your help. So if you're a gun owner in this district, again, this is portions of Laramie County and a sliver of Goshen, right along over here, the very east, the very uh, south uh, east corner here of Wyoming, you have a choice to make as you approach the August 18 primary. And as a 501c4, we will not tell you who to vote for. That's outside of our purview. But it is important to know that facts matter. And the fact is, Anthony Bouchard has been a champion for gun owners for his entire time in elected office and before. And Erin Johnson, while she has no record as an actual legislator, she has a lot of troubling issues in her background and her refusal to answer these basic questions in a candidate survey is very, very troubling to gun owners. So guys, share this video far and wide to every gun owner you know in this area. If you haven't yet joined WIGO, guys, now is the time. This fight is hot. Go to joinwigo.com, joinwigo.com. Thank you.